I'm here in West Los Angeles, California at the Wine House. I called ahead and spoke to Jim Knight, one of the owners, and I said to him, Jim, I want to buy five bottles for $30 or less that you think are 90 points or more. So let's go see if he can pull it off. Hey, Jim. Hey, what's happening, James? All right, man. Good to see you. Good seeing you. Game on. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All what right. do you got ready for me? Uh, we got five wines that uh, will be 95 points or higher. <laughs> I like so. that. You're optimistic. Yeah. All right. Well, let's try the first one. First wine is here. Can't tell you what it is, though. Well, it is red, so do Defin I get points yeah. for that? Yeah. points for that. He shoots, he scores. I'll try some as well. I like the acidity, good fruit, really lots of bright, clean fruit, you know, not cooked in any way, just no. lots going on. It's a, it's a right vintage. I'm 90 points on that. 90 points? Yeah. It's I too low for you. Too low. <laughs> definitely, okay. de definitely too low. All right, you want to see what it is? Yeah. So it's the uh, Domaine oh, Grand wow, okay. Montmorel. What's the uh, price on it? $19.99. For Gigandos, and that's from the 2009 vintage. Is that that's mostly? Uh, uh, it's mostly Grenache. Grenache. Yeah. It's about 80 percent Grenache. Well, yeah. Let's try two now. All right, so number two. Mm. Very floral, this. Yeah, that's a violet. Yeah. Because the color sort of throws you at first, because it's very light. No cold maceration on this. Very bright acidity. Clean fruit, some fine tannins. Yeah, and it's and a, and there's, and a, it's, and there's it's a real juiciness to it. It's a wine that really needs food. No? And it's traditional too. It's not um, it's not made in the modern style yeah. of winemaking. So a very traditional style uh, wine from this region. So. It grows on your you know first impact. You think oh it's a bit light, yeah. but actually it builds on your palate. I'll give it ninety. Ninety? Yeah. Okay. What is it? It's uh, Angelo Germano Barolo. Wow. So that's from the 2006 vintage. Beaut and how much is it? $29.99. Wow, that's a good buy. So, yeah. I, have, I, I think I've rated that, but I haven't had the 206. Yeah. Which is a great vintage. It's quite soft. Uh, yeah. Not too tannic yet. And for a Barolo, it's hard, it's hard to find Barolos under 30 bucks. That's yeah, what no, was throwing me. Definitely. So let's do the third wine. I'll cool. grab it. I'll pour you. Well, that was a shocker. In a yeah, way. cool. Well, that's I'm glad you gave it 90 nice points. So yeah. two for two, the wine house. Very good. <laughs> so far, so good. Oh, this, is, this has a sort of earthy, decadent, meaty. Yeah, it's definitely got some soil in the nose. It's got some funk, a little James Brown going on uh, in the glass. I like it. Then pepper. Yep. Very spicy. Yeah. I like that a lot, but I did pick it. So I, I picked this. this. Yeah, tell me. It is a, um, it's a more obscure region from this country, mm -hmm. and it's a very cool varietal, um, and um, it's just a, it's an exciting wine from us, uh, from a tiny producer. Is it Spanish? It is Spanish. Mm. Nice. <laughs> That's. I wouldn't have see that. That's I don't know if I would have gotten Spanish that because it's not a, it's not a typical. Varietal from this region. Well, it's very typical, but it's not. It's not the uh, I like most, it. Pop, most popular. I'm knighting this. It is sort of classical style, but I like that. Mm. You know, people, Spain sometimes has been making a little bit too new world style of wines. Yeah. You taste it, and it's just like boom. For me, you know, Spanish yeah. traditional delicious. I'm ninety. Nice one. Ninety. Yeah. Uh, it's from the Ribera de Sacra, so it's 100 percent Menthia. Uh, and uh, Menthia, sure, which is an old variety. So and it's El Guera. At twenty six ninety nine. Lots of vanilla and berries. Stylish. Swine number four. Hmm. This has more dried flowers and blueberries. Plums. Yeah, lots of blueberry. Yeah. yeah. But it lifts Mineros. right out of the glass, yeah. That must be really your palate. It seems when you 
wines that you like are wines that actually have nice finishes to them. They start off slowly and yeah, they sort of build on the palate. For me, it's, I mean, obviously, Aromax is crucial yeah, for, sure. that's the first step, but it really comes down to texture for me. Yeah. So, Again, this has the same sort of textures as the other wines we've had, where it's fine, good, fresh acidity, fine tannins, and then builds on the palate. Yeah. I'm 90 on that. I like it 90? a lot. So we went to uh, cross the border to Portugal and did the 2007 oh, sure, Valado. Valado. Yeah. Valado is one of those is, producers in the last three to four years has really come on. A lot of the grapes of four used to go into uh, port, vintage port, because this is from the Douro Valley where uh, port's made. But delicious wine, how much is it? $14.99. Whoa, that's a steal. So, yeah. All right, number five. So this let's see if, the, let's see if we can do it. it. Let's see if we can show up more than the Jets did on Sunday. So. <laughs> oh, this has some, a lot more fruit than the other ones. It's a little bit more. Old world or new world? I'm thinking more new world on this. You're right. Blackberries, blueberries. Yeah. Yeah. Nice softness, good tannins, good freshness. Yeah. I, once again, great texture. Chew, so. and then chewy on the finish. Yeah. Mm. Some new well, wood. It's, it's definitely got some new wood. This is a new world wine. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm definitely more of an old world consumer. Uh -huh. But I thought the balance was really nice. It wasn't too, it wasn't overripe. Uh -huh. It wasn't over oaked. Um, and it had a good juiciness factor. Yeah. So um, it's also really good friends of mine that make this wine. So there is some, uh, there is some personal love there. So. Well, I'm, I'm actually, yeah. that's my favorite wine in the tasting, 91. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, it's from the Central Coast. I don't know if you've ever seen this producer before. It's, it's Holus Bolus. Holus Bolus Syrah. Syrah. Beautiful. And it's the Octoberist. Price? It is $23.99. Wow. So, That's tiny, good bank your and money to throw off your money. 200 case production. So tiny production on it. Um, cool story behind it. It's actually, I mean, the, the label was um, was made. It's an octopus. There's four, oh. four uh, winemakers involved in that. So there's eight hands making the uh -huh. wine. Cool. So, and uh, I am one of those winemakers, my friend. All so, right. Yeah. Well, you did so, it, man. Yeah. Five for five. Yeah. Easy. So, very cool. Well, thanks again. Yeah. Let's go ring him up. Cheers. Cheers. So, we got the Gigondas 2009, which tastes like a delicious Beaujolais, but it's actually made from mostly Grenache. Yummy wine. Totally. 1999. 2007 Vallado from Douro. Uh, the land where great ports come from, but also also fabulous table wines. And that was a great deal. That was, was $14.99, yeah. Awesome. We got the uh, El Guerra Ribera Sacra, which was made, what's the variety? 100% Menthia. Menthia. Wonderful one. I enjoyed that. That was $26.99. My favorite wine, the wine you're making, the Syrah from Santa Barbara County, only 200 cases, you said? Yep, it's, uh, yeah, it's made by four Polis, of us. Most, Peter Hunkin, Sashi Marman, myself, and Chad Melba. Price? $23.99. And finally, Barola for $29.99, was it? Yeah, which is a steal. For, yeah, $29.99 yeah. from the spectacular 06 vintage. And it's real, so, uh, thank you. One twenty-seven twenty-six for five great wines, over 90 points here at the Wine House. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much, man. That was, that was a treat. I'm glad, we, uh, I'm glad we nailed it. <laughs> Great. Perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Take it. Awesome. <laughs>